Hey, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this worry worm. It's a really simple crochet item. You can add a keychain to it or a bag charm. You can carry them around with you or just pop them in your pocket and they make really cool gifts as well. These are really simple to make. I am no way a pro. I also might get some of the lingo wrong because I am literally self-taught. So to start off with, I'm going to make a slip stitch with yarn. This is basic DK yarn, I think. Crochet hook. Is going to go through that slip stitch to make the first stitch. Then I'm going to chain three. So basically, you're going to grab the yarn with the hook and pull it through that hoop, and you're going to repeat that three times. Then we're going to take the hook and go through that first stitch that you did. Grab the yarn with the hook and pull it through both hoops that are on the hook. And as you can see, there's a hole in the middle there, and that's where we're going to go through. So we're going to chain one again. So you just grab the yarn and pull it through that first loop. And holding the tail of like that first bit of yarn behind, we're going to do a single crochet eight times through the middle. So what I've been doing is you just take the hook, go through the middle, grab the yarn from the back, pull it through the front. Then you grab the yarn again on your hook and then put it through both hoops that were on the hook. And you want to carry on doing this until you've done eight stitches and that should go all the way around and make like a circle. Like I say, keep that tail bit of yarn from the beginning. Just keep that to one side and that should be hidden behind the stitches as you go around. So once you've done that, you want to take the hook and put it through the top of the first stitch that you did. So I'm going to go through that, grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops. I'm going to start going around um, the outside now. So we're going to do a double crochet for this. So we're going to go through each of the stitches that we've done. So you wrap the yarn around, go through the stitches, grab the yarn, pull it through, and you've got three hoops on there. Then you grab the yarn again and pull it through just two of the hoops. And then that creates another two, and then you just grab the yarn again and pull it through the second lot of hoops. Hopefully you could understand that, if not, hopefully you could see it. And we're going to do this twice in each stitch from the first round. So in each little gap, you're going to do that twice. So wrap it around, go through, grab the yarn. You've got three things on there now. Grab the yarn again, pull it through just two, and then pull it through the second two. Then move on to the next stitch. So you've done eight stitches on the first round. This round, you're going to do two in each of the stitches. So you should end up with 16 stitches. Though to be honest, it doesn't matter too much if you actually accidentally add an extra stitch somewhere or, or anything because um yeah this is just the head of the worm and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a perfect circle. So you carry on and do this all the way around. Like I say do two double crochets in each of the stitches and this is what you end up with. And you just go through that first stitch, pull the yarn through both hoops and that's the head done. And now we're just going to chain. So you grab the yarn, pull it through, and we're going to make the tails. So I'd say between 25 and 30 stitches makes a good tail, but you can do it however long you, you want. If you want a really long tail, go for it, add more stitches. And it also depends on your yarn, really, if you've used some thick yarn or whatnot, or really thin yarn, then you would lead probably a few more. I done 25 for my one though. But depending on the yarn, I because this one is actually slightly thinner than my normal yarn. Um, I usually do yeah between 25 and 30. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to skip that first 
that first one and we're going to go into the one behind it. I'm just going to do a single crochet through that. And so you just go through it, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn again and pull it through both loops. And we're going to do three of these pretty much in each stitch. So that's three in that first stitch. Then we move on to the next stitch. And then we're going to do three more. And you're going to do this all the way up the tail. And because you're doing like three stitches in each one, it starts to curl around on itself. And you end up like this. And in the end, just going to add another stitch to attach it to the head. It was already attached to the head, but just want to make sure it's like a bit more sturdy than just having one stitch on it. Once I've done that, I'll put it tight and cut off the excess yarn. Well, not all of the excess, because you want to grab a needle and just tie a knot in it and then hide the tail. And the tail from the original bit should already be hid under some stitches. If you didn't do that, use the needle to hide the stitches for that as well. And that's your basic... Um, worm done and all that's left is to stick on some googly eyes you're done that's ready to be handed off as a gift or like i say you can add a keyring to it again sorry if i got anything wrong in this if you are a crochet person and i did do anything wrong like the names of the stitches feel free to tell me i won't be offended like i say i'm self-taught i get things wrong occasionally <laughs> no way pro Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video. Bye.